Shalom. <clears throat> Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalawam, to the Akiam and to the Akwath, that'll be you brothers and sisters, Adawan Rataza, that is to say Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad, back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai as commanded. And um, this lesson today is going to be an organic lesson. It's all of the spirit, whatever the spirit allows, I will speak on. The Lord said to Peter, who's the rock, the head of the church, the Lord said to feed his sheep. You know, the Lord told Peter three times to feed his lambs, man. You know, make sure that make sure make sure that they, they are fed. You know, so as men of the Lord, we got to keep a watch over the flock, man. Okay, we are we are our brother's keeper. Okay, we have to exhort one another, right? This is what we have to do. We got to be showing that brotherly love. We got to be encouraging one another to keep the faith and to keep fighting. And keep fighting the good fight of faith as the Apostle Paul told us to. You know? But we got to be our brother's keeper, man. Right? So at the end of the day, I want to exhort uh, the hopeful elect to keep pushing, man. Keep pushing. You know, even though things going to get tighter and tighter and tighter, we know it's, it's, it's already written in the scripture that we gonna have the victory at the end of the day, man. You know, at the end of the day, we are gonna get that victory, man. The, the, the Lord is gonna lift up that standard. You know, the devil is gonna come down having great wrath, okay? Because you know that he have a short time, Revelation twelve and twelve, but Isaiah fifty nine and verse nineteen, okay. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from 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 the from the rising of the sun, okay. So like here, let me, let me actually go to that and get that so I don't butcher it. Okay, the Lord is going to lift up a standard for the things that we're going to go through. And, and now, mind you, we know <clears throat> you're going to have uh, brothers that are going to be made martyrs for, for Yahweh Shai's sake. You know? But we're going to glorify. Brothers going to glorify and that fact, you know, to do that on the behalf of the name of the Lord. You know, Lord gonna put the spirit on certain brothers to go through whatever their lot might be. All right, but for the for the for the most part, the Lord is gonna lift up a standard. Okay, let's get this in the book of um, because we know we know things are about about to get drastic, man. Okay, Second Timothy chapter three and verse one saying, "This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come." When you go into the word perilous, it means dangerous times. So we need a savior. We need our Lord to come and deliver us, man. Okay? That's what, that's what, that's what, that's what the, 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 the prophecy the Lord is going to fulfill. That's one of the prophecies that he's going to fulfill to come and save us, man. Matthew 1 and 21. Okay? That's, that's his name is a Norman omen. Okay? For he shall save his people. His people is the elect, man. The elect of Israel. Okay? Galatians 6 and 16. Uh... The, the, the Israel of the Most High. All right? This is Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 19. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and its glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Okay? That word standard, when you go into it, it means to, 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 to flee, escape. Okay? Get away. Okay? To the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? The Lord is gonna lift up a standard, man. They this time around they ain't gonna just be able to do what they wanna do with 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 
the, the, the men of the Lord, the elect, okay? They're going to get a charge because the Lord said he's going to get them a charge of, uh, of the two-thirds, okay? Esau going to be able to do what he want to do with the two-thirds, man. Jacob's trouble and all that. Cause that's prophesied. But as for the as for the for the for the elect, the elect, the elect are gonna be beamed up, man. Okay? They're gonna see salvation. For the Lord has sanctified them unto himself. Okay? Predestinated to see found uh predestinated from the foundation of the uh, of the earth, man, from the foundation of the world. Okay? Predestinated to see the Lord's salvation. You know? But you gotta keep pushing, keep fighting. You know, because we, we are called, scripture say many are called, but few are chosen. The only way that you're going to know if you're chosen for sure, if you, you're on those chariots, you delivered. You're out of harm's way. You are, when you, Once you're on those chariots, you're out of harm's way, man. Okay? Well, even before, because certain brothers, certain brothers slack you. Certain brothers going to get spiritual powers, man. Because scripture speak about in the second Ezra, uh, the 16th chapter where it says, Then shall it be known... Who 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 are my chosen man? Okay, let's get that. As a matter of fact, showing you some of the things that we're gonna suffer, that we're gonna go through, because we're all gonna be tried. But remember, Revelation chapter three and verse ten, the Lord said, "Because we have kept the word of His patience, He also gonna keep us from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the whole world to try them." Showing showing you when you when you, that word that word when you go into that word world right there, it, it means in the alchemy sense. Oikum meaning, meaning the whole inhabited earth, man. It's going to be tried. But the Lord's men, the Lord said, because he kept the, the, the patience, uh, the word of my patience, and I also shall keep thee from the hour of temptation, man. Okay? But a lot of things are going to be going on right now. They had the Jews people getting the taco sauce and getting juiced up. All right? Now they tell you that the, 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 the Supreme Court strike down the mandate. You didn't have to do these things no more. And look, all these people are already juiced up. Millions. Okay? Juiced up. Because they trust in the serpent. All right? Now, this karagma, that's going to come. Remember Revelation, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse on down, where it tell you, <laughs> you know, he, he trying to put that, uh, that, 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 that uh, uh, electronic old man in you to make you a perpetual slave. Okay? And if you go ahead and bow... If you go ahead and bow to this to this to this to this beast system, okay, the most high gonna destroy you, man. Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. That's the consequences. Okay, it's consequences for it. If you bow to the beast, man. But the Lord said he have seven thousand man that 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 ain't gonna bow to the image of Baal, man. Alright? But let's read some of these things that's to come, man. Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, verse 68. Okay, because that karagma is fastly approaching. It, 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 some people already, you know, digital ulled up. They're already electronically tagged in certain parts of the world. Sweden and those places. Okay, they, they, they want to make that a global thing, man. Okay, let's, let's get into it real quick. Uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 16 and verse 68, it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. Okay, Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah the thirtieth chapter at the seventh verse. Okay, that's what it's going into, man. It says, "For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you." Okay, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. Yeah, so because you're going to be locked away, cast away into these female camps and stuff like that. Okay. They're going to try to feed you with things offered unto idols, man. That's going into that. that They're going to try to electronically tag you, man. Okay? Make you a perpetual slave. Verse 69, it says, And they and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Yeah, so if you bow down to them, man, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna walk all over your ass, man. Verse 70, For there shall be in every place and in the next city is a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Okay? It says, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. This is the time that we're coming into. For they shall take, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall it, then shall they be known who are my chosen. So this, that's the reason why I read this. 
to correct myself through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that the, 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 the chosen are going to be known a little bit before they actually get on the chariot. Because it's saying right here, 2nd Ezra chapter 16 and verse 73, Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall, so during this time, this is you're going to know who the Lord really is working with. All of these different camps teaching all these different doctrines and stuff like that and, and teaching our people to go off. During these times, you're going to know who the Lord really working with, man. The, the, the real man of the Lord who have the 100% truth. You know? The elders and apostles of Great Millstone, man. From Elder Apostle to her, you know? Elder Apostle Goodbye, Elder Apostle Aram Lab, Elder Apostle Rakar, the bishops, the deacons, you know? And like man, the brothers teaching the same doctrine, man, the 100% truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. In truth and sincerity. Okay, for the Lord uh, 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 seek it such to worship him in truth and in sincerity. Okay? In spirit and in truth. Okay? So at the end of the day, it says right here, Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Okay? So, amen. It would behoove you to, 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 to uh, give diligence, man, to make your calling and election sure. Okay? Stay on the right path. Okay? Keep your eye single, man. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the prize, man. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. The Lord, the Lord loves a fighter, man. You know, the scriptures speak about uh, 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 a just man, you know, fall at seven times, you know, but rise back up, up again. So that's what you got. That's what you got to do. You got to. You got to keep. Every time you fall down, you got to get back up and keep going, man. You got. You got to get back up and keep going. You see? Let me see if I can find that real quick. If I could grab that real quick. You see? So when you when you when you fall, you get back up. You know, keep praising. Give 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 praises. You know? And keep going forward, man. Keep moving. And keep 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 moving forward, man. You can't allow, you know, you can't allow the devil, you know, to try to uh, get you off your, you know? Try to get you out of the faith, man. You gotta keep. You gotta keep going. Um, I'm trying to okay it here. Bear with me here. For some reason, this amp here. I usually find things quicker inside uh, uh, the blue letter. Yeah, scripture speak about a just man falling, man. Seven times, but get back up. You know? And keep, keep, keep going, man. All right, this is Proverbs 24 and 16. A just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Okay? A just man falleth. Seven times and rise it up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief, man. So you gotta, you gotta keep, you gotta, you gotta keep going, man. You can't, you can't allow nothing to hold you down. You know, the scripture, the scripture speaks about right. And let me go back to this chapter because the speak, the scripture speaks about those who let their sins weigh them down, man. This is the book of Second Ezra. Just going back to the Second Ezra, uh, sixteen chapter, seventy four verses says. Hear, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide. The Most High is your guide, man. Okay? It says, And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord, power. Let not your sins weigh you down. So you got to get back up. Okay? Let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Okay? So you got to keep, keep your eyes... Single man, keep your eyes on the prize. 
right? So when you fall, you got to get back up. Verse 77, it says, Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over with bushes and the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. So you can't let it weigh you down to the point that you're going to condemn yourself and you're going to give up because you're going to, you, 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 that's automatic. You lost, man. You're going to lose like that. You don't want to lose. You don't want to take an L. You want to, you want a double. You want to win. You want the victory. Okay, you want to be one of those that that's on that 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 sea of glass, man, who got the victory over the beast. Okay, verse seventy-eight it says, "It is left undressed and cast into the fire to be consumed therewith." So you got to get back up when you fall. You know, you got to keep pushing on and keep fighting the good fight of faith because you want victory. You want to hear come up hither. Okay, we're gonna get. I'm gonna get that scripture come to mind real quick. Uh, Revelation chapter eleven and verse twelve. And I'm going to grab Revelation chapter 15 and we're going to close out right there. This is Revelation chapter 12, 11 and verse 12. And they heard a great voice. And every, every, every elect man of the Lord want to hear this. And they heard a great voice from heaven. I don't want Rata Zah be a part of that precious number. I do pray for brothers and the few sisters that believe in this truth and believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither, meaning here. And they ascended up in heaven in a cloud, meaning what the world ignorantly calls UFOs, okay, which is the vehicles of our Lord, which is the vehicles of our salvation. And their enemies beheld them. Yeah, people are going to see you getting beamed up. Why? Because you've been serving the Lord and obeying his word and, and doing the work. People are going to be seeing you getting um, 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 beamed up. And they're going to, you know, when you read Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, it speaks about how they're going to be talking about you, uh, you know, how... how you know, uh, we thought, we, we counted this life to be, you know, madness. We didn't thought a guy like that would have get beamed up, roughly paraphrasing. You know, that's what it's going into. But they're going to be a, a, a astonishment when they see the man of the Lord being beamed up. You know? But well, yeah, hey man, we, we want the victory, man. I'm going to close out right here in the book of Revelation, the 15th chapter. It says... And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of the Most High. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the hops of the Most High. And they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord, power almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints, who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name, for thou only art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. Okay, so hey, we want to sing the song of Moses, man. Okay, all right, the servant of the Most High. We want the victory over the beast, man, on this image. Okay. That's what we want. We want victory. So with that, keep brother, keep pushing, brothers. Keep fighting, you know, the good fight of faith. Keep moving forward, man. All right? We almost out of here, man. I don't want Rataza. So until the next time, I'm going to say all honor, glory, and praises be unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Mills Tool that taught me the truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth and truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Lord willing, this is edifying. On to the next one. Shalom.